Yes, people, it's your boy Fred Stones. Thanks for passing by the channel. Hit that sub button for me if you're new here. Comment, share, like. Guys, I was watching tonight's episode and I was I was bored in the house, bored in the house, bored. I was bored and I'm tired of saying I'm bored. You wait. Go for time. Bored of this flipping episodes, bro. Swear down. This episode was ass cheeks. <laughs> it was cheeks. This was dry, bro. Drier than Somalia, bro. Anyway, let's bust it down like Tatiana. Let's break it down. Let's talk about what happened tonight and them things there. So the episode started with Kieran bringing back this um this vintage lady, yeah? He brought her back like a DJ. He brought this elderly woman back and them things there. And Nicole, her makeup still looks like his beef in her face and them things there. It looks like her and her foundation are ops and stuff, yeah? Nicole was in the yard stressing, sweating like a flipping Ethiopian in a marathon and them things there. And... She was just like, oh my God, I oh, I wonder what he's doing. Is he shagging sheep? And whatever she says and them things there. Idiot girl. I don't know. Anyway, she was all worried. He brought, um, Kieran brought her back and them things there. She met all the girls. The girls were kind of like a bit sideways with the, with the girl at first. You know what I'm saying? Well, not in her face, but they were like, I don't know. They weren't the friendliest. You know them ones there? Anyway, Lolly, this lollipop woman, yeah, she went and met the guys, introduced herself for them things there. And you know, usually when the new bombshell comes in the yard, that you know, the man, them are like hungry, like proper hyenas and them things there. Proper, you know, them ones, they're drooling out the mouth, like ready to eat the batty. And bro, when she came, yeah, bro, everyone was like, yep, yeah, look, look. <laughs> Ain't nobody want no parts of that. She looks like an elderly eagle. She looks like she smokes like 20, 30 a day and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? Talking about she's coming to Love Island to come find her husband. Bro, you need to go look for someone that does a good pension plan and them things there. What is this girl talking about? <laughs> anyway, she met the guys, met the girls and all them things there. Man like Ruben, Riley from the Boondocks, yeah? Him and Grace got into it today. They got into a little, a little tongue action and them things there. Their tongues got intertwined and stuff. My man was all in their mouth, like flipping black, like gums and them things there. It was crazy still. They finally kissed. You know, like there'd been a little, like, a little sexual tension in, in, in between and them things there. My man's always had a recce around her. And you know, like, she, she wants the wood, like she's about to build a campfire and them things there. And she wants the black wood specifically. And that's why I think. She likes Ruben, yeah, but I don't think she likes Ruben like that. Like, even tonight when she picked him, I feel like she's just settling. I feel like she wants the black wood. You know them ones there? I'm big boned. I'm heavy structured. I'm hung low. If I pull my shit out, this whole room get dark. I think she's on that after eight dark chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Yo, Grace, yeah. <laughs> Grace wants some dark meat to part her flaps like Moses. I'm telling you, she wants someone to... Yo, <laughs> That's what she truly wants. They kissed and, again, like I said, I don't think she's really into him. I feel like she ain't really got that many choices right now, innit? Then this waist man, this E.T. looking you, yeah, flipping Ayo, this little yam head. This guy, I want to dash a bag of Gary at him every time I see him. This guy's a waste man. He's a proper, like, proper, absolute knob jockey, proper melt and them things there. Why is he bothering Mimi for? Mimi needs to cut this you off, I swear down, wallahi. She needs to cut him off like a circumcision. You know them ones there? She needs to swerve him like roadkill. Loud them man there. Leave him in the dust. Leave him in his dry lips. Lau him. You know them ones there? Bro, this you is a bad mind you. Bad energy. You know them ones there? Proper, like... You know, like, on Kuf's giraffe and them things there. I don't know where they found this you. He's seen Mimi's happy and them things there. Seen him with my man. I love, I'm going to talk about it in a minute. I love how Josh batted him up. Grabbed him by the scruff of the neck and them things there. Man, you know, like, yo, that's a real man thing. Real, she want a real man. She don't want a nerd. That's a proper man thing. You know them ones there? And all my man can say is, swear, swear. No way. Swear. Oh, swear. But I swear down, I'll dash something at him. <laughs> Waste man, see the girl happy, try to get in the middle of a happiness like a referee and them things there. And Josh, I personally think, yeah, Josh has every single right to be mad. And you know what? This is, if everybody was like Josh here, yeah, the world would be a much better place. Do you know why? There was a problem. He spoke up. He knew what the problem is. He addressed it with Mimi and he went and addressed it with Ayo. And there you go. Boom, bam. Bob's your uncle and them things there. Do you know what I'm saying? This flipping Ayo, brother, that looks like a flipping T-Rex and them things there. My man looks like a flipping tropical lizard. 
this guy, if he's he's lurking, that's not his girl. He's got his own thing. He's got his own hyena, his own little seagull he can play with and dash bread and them things there. Josh, this is Josh's thing now. Allow it. Remember, you dashed his girl to the side like pizza crust, like fish bones and them things there. You didn't want her. So leave her now. Let Josh deal with her. Don't try and get all up in her face with your little lizard face and them things there. Allow it. Ayo is a bro. I'm so glad Josh did what he did. He has every right to be mad because at the end of the day, you had your chance. You messed it up. You know what I'm saying? Let me do my thing now. I move. Waste, man. See how they're smoking at bedtime as well under the sheets and all that, and they sorted it out like adults. They didn't have to drag nothing out, like flipping cross dresses and stuff. They just spoke about it, and that was that. They dated it the next day. My man went and spoke to Ayo. Oh, yeah, one more thing as well that's on my chest. i got to get it off here. Yeah. Bro, Sean, I swear... Oh, my God, Sean. It's, does anyone just... Um, I'm not going to say hate. I hate him. <laughs> does anyone just like him as much as, as much as I do? Bro, I can't stand you. I swear down, if I could, I would... Bro, I want to dash Ayo at him. I want to dash one of Ayo's shoes at him because, you know, Ayo's shoes like fl a, a, a little flipping yacht on them things there. It's like a little canoe. Bro, I want to... I want to... Bro, I can't stand him. Why is he obsessed with Mimi? Why is he obsessed with whatever Mimi's doing and always watching her? The guy is the biggest game player. We got to watch this little dung beetle, this little turd burglar. We need to watch this guy. He's a flipping little toenail. I'm telling you, flipping batty fluff, always watching other people. Mind your business, bro. Go face your front... My well, bro... Anyway, I can't stand Sean. I really, really can't. Anyway, then what, what what happened next? What happened next? Oh yeah, Jesse, Jesse and um um Lolly, Lolly, the lollipop girl. Yeah, Jesse tried to tell the lollipop girl like whatever. What was she telling Joey on a date? Whatever she was telling Joey on a date, bro. She was saying she didn't like it and all them things there and the lollipop thing. She's an idiot, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> They're both idiots, man. Dash them to the side, man. Ain't nobody care about what they were talking about. Then Josh, a real brother. You know what I'm saying? See Josh here, yeah, he's got that alpha, that macho, that umbaku energy. You know what I'm saying? He's got that. You know what I'm saying? He's got that. Yo, he's got that real G energy. You know them ones there? Ayo, Ayo's got the Rograt energy. He's got lemming energy. He's got a gerbil energy, hamster energy. You know them ones there? Little man energy. Some, some wet you energy. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Josh called him to the side. You know what was funny as well? When Josh called him to the side and uh, Jessica, um, obviously Ayo's Jess, Jess and Mimi was there sitting and they were talking about Ayo. See how they were talking about him? They both know that he waffles. They both need all these chats, bare pop on them things there. He's a proper waffler. They both wanted to dash a syrup in his eyelid. Trust me. They j anyway, they went off to the side. Oh yeah, it was also funny as well when... Um, it and I said, Ayo. <laughs> I don't think we get enough of these people's characters. Like, I think, like, that people say Mimi's boring. I think, like, they've actually got a lot more, but obviously, editing is a editing is a beep. But yeah, man, Josh called Ayo to the side of them things there. He said, Yo, where's your head at? He asked him where his head at. And Ayo couldn't really say nothing. All he just kept... He was, I remember Stormzy in that um, BBC One interview. He just couldn't... Like, yeah, yeah. All he kept saying, Ayo's vocabulary is as small as a cockatoo and them things there. Bro, all he says is, No way. No way. Swear. Swear. No way. Then he remixes it. No way. Swear. <laughs> He's a damn you, bro. The guy is as smart as a flipping pumpkin or avocado or something. Or flipping Hovis, brown bread. He's dumb, blood. But I like how Josh just set the record straight, put him in his place like a library book and them things there. He he set things. He let, he let him know. Like I'm saying, you know when a dog comes on a territory, he basically pissed on Ayo's leg. <laughs> he pissed on his leg and Ayo couldn't do nothing. You know them ones there? He set the mark. You know what I'm, he, he laid things down like a new lawn and them things there. And Ayo, what could he do? What could he do? Because he's a little boy. He's an ashy little boy. Like I said, his brain is just... Bro, his brain... His toenails are probably grown more than his brain cells and them things they have. Do you know what I mean? The guy is, is such a dumb youth. Then Sean and Matilda went on a date, yeah. And oh my God, this was like the worst thing. This 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 show's getting worse and worse. They, have they not... Could they not read the room? Is they really think... They really think this is what we want to see. This is stupidness, blood. <laughs> Bro, I would rather go and flip and watch some flipping wild raccoons or something. Flip and eat their dinner. What is this? This is an idiot thing. Anyway, I didn't watch it, bro. I think I went and wrote my diary or something. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> hey, my 
I didn't got time for that. They went out in a car or something. Blood, I would have jumped in that car and flipping, ran over flipping my man. Waste man. Then back at the yard, yeah, Jess and Ayo. You see Jess and Ayo, yeah? Like, they might hold on because obviously it's the last few days, but Ayo's done with her. I can see right now. It's the end of the road. Bro, it's the end of the road for them, but... Ah, bro. Like, ah, bro. Bro, Jess has got a buff body. Her body is... Wow. Her body is... Crazy anyway, yeah. Jess was asking Ayo what that whole chat with um Josh was about because obviously everyone saw them having a little chat, very rare. And Ayo's like, swear, swear, no way. <laughs> Damn you. Then he told her it was about the chat he had with Mimi last night and all those things there. And Jessica's like, Rah, I didn't even know you spoke to Mimi. Like, you spoke to Mimi. And then she switched, kind of switched, she blew up. And then she walked off and they were sitting by the pool. Then she walked off and stuff, yeah. But see Jessica, yeah. Jessica is the kind of gal, yo, I hate to see her go, but I love to watch her leave. Them cheeks are cheeking. Wow, she's so cheeky. <laughs> wow. No, do you know what? Jessica's actually got a very, very nice body. But I felt like she blew that whole thing out of proportion. She just, I don't know if she wanted airtime, a little 15 minutes. I don't know what she wanted or... I don't know. Or she wanted us to watch her cheeks. I, I enjoyed it. If that's what she wanted. <laughs> but I feel like she's... I don't know. Why did she get so mad at them things there? Like, that was cray cray. There was no need for that. Maybe it's because she's realising that his temperament and his attitude towards her is changing. Because, yo, you, you know, like, yeah, they got that woman's intuition or whatever, yeah? Women's instinct or whatever. She, maybe she can realise that his head is starting to... I'm saying look in the next direction and... Bro, I don't know. She can see this meerkat is not the same. That's not the meerkat she first knew. This guy with his long neck and back, flipping E.T., long lizard neck. Anyway, but yeah, Jessica walked off, yeah? Imagine if Jessica went and sat down and started speaking to Grace about it. <laughs> the funniest thing about all of that, yeah? Bro, Grace, Grace cared nothing. Grace, Grace was thinking about Willie. She didn't care about all of that. <laughs> she was talking to Grace. Grace was like... I can't remember, Grace wasn't even really replying back to her. Bro, Grace don't care about all of that. It was such a dumb argument. Bro, see Sean, yeah? Every time I see Sean on the screen, bro, I just want to box him with a tilapia or a frozen salmon or something. He gets on my nerves. He's like a little fishy you. Some fluffy fishy you. You know them ones there? They wasted valuable time tonight showing me this helmet state and flipping basmati. I don't care about them. They should have drove off into the sunset and never come back. Man don't want to see them again. Lolly, yeah, the girl Lolly. I remember she was chatting to Connor, yeah. Connor, oh yeah, remember Connor was all giving um advice to um Ayo earlier on as well when that whole thing happened with Jessica. Bro, what's wrong with Matt Rasta Mouse? He ain't even got a girl. See Connor, yeah, I was chatting to my brethren earlier on, yeah. Me and my brethren was mad. We had a long conversation about Love Island. It was weird still. We was talking about Love Island for a while, and he reckons that Connor is gay. <laughs> That's what he reckons. I don't know. But I'm not too sure. But that new thing, Lolly, the elderly, the pensioner woman there, pick, picking him and stuff, yeah? Like, okay, cool. <laughs> They're just going to get voted out together. <laughs> What's that mean? There was no point on this woman coming in there. She might as well come in as a palm reader or something. She would have had more of an effect. Man would have remembered her. This don't. This ain't going to work. She ain't going to be remembered. Then it was recoupling time and all them things there. And... Even this girl, I thought you could have, you know, like you could have done something real memorable. Like, nothing about you is memorable. You ain't got a back. Nothing. Bro, she ended up picking Connor. It's like, bro, okay, cool. Then Nicole, Nicole picks Kieran. And then Kieran, oh yeah, I forgot to mention, Matilda and Sean, they became exclusive. Not boyfriend and girlfriend. Exclusive. Exclusive dickheads. You know them ones there? <laughs> Anyway, then at the time when the call was picking Kieran, Kieran decided, Kieran's a little game player as well, you know, I saw him. There is no way you're putting up with this clown flipping Ronald McDonald's every single day, yeah? And you, he's playing the game. He's trying to win the money and I don't blame him. As soon as he saw Sean um, and Matilda become an item, yeah, he asked, he went one further. They're exclusive. Him and um, Nicole are boyfriend, girlfriend now, innit? Do you know what I'm saying? And, bro, it's dead, blood. It's dead. Grace then picked Ruben. Again, I don't think she likes Ruben. The speech was a bit weird. Maybe she was drunk. I don't know. She was, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It was weird. 
Jesse, Jesse picks Joey. Matilda, Matilda picks Sean. Mimi, Mimi picks Josh, obviously. When Mimi was saying a speech here, yeah, I swear I was standing there hoping it would be for him with his little lizard face. It weren't for him. It was for Josh. You know that was there. Then he was standing there and then Jess done her little speech. Nobody cared about that, whatever she said, yeah. Woohoo! You're looking right up in the, into the sunset already. I ain't even got no problem with Jess. It's just this flipping T-Rex you. Do you know what I'm saying? Flipping, what's his name? Anyway, that was pretty much tonight's episode. Nothing else happened. There weren't no, like, tomorrow night. Obviously, there can't be tomorrow night because it's the weekend. But, but yeah, man. Guys, let me know what you think about tonight's episode. That was pretty much it. It wasn't the best. But, yeah. 